I'm Jay Lake, uh, author of Green from Tor Books. My name is Ken Scholes. I am um, a first time novelist with Tor. My, my uh, first book, Lamentation, is out. And what's the rest of the series? Second book, Canticle. Third book, Antiphon. Fourth book, Requiem. And uh, fifth book, Hymn. That's uh, him, H-Y-M-N. Now tell me a little bit more uh, about your journey. It's funny because it actually started at the writing desk. And I was submitting short stories by the time I was 14 or 15 years old. And then at 17, I just got rid of all my Dungeons & Dragons stuff, sold off my science fiction and fantasy collection, stopped writing, and decided that what I had to do was become a Baptist minister. It was definitely an important phase in my life, but it was, it was truly intended to be a phase, to, to bring me through a certain amount of growth, I think, as a person. Uh, get out from under some of that darkness, uh, that, that uh, trailer boy upbringing that I, that I had. Oddly enough, when I left the ministry, one of the very first things that started reasserting itself after I got a, a little bit of distance between that life and, uh, and my new life was I, started, I had stories showing up in my head. You know, God shows up in my short fiction quite a lot. He just doesn't show up exactly the way that, uh, that he would have in my sermons. Um, Which is probably all for the best in both cases. Against conventional wisdom for our genre, your, your book is written a lot like a thriller. So it's really set up like an epic fantasy with techno thriller tropes, but there's definitely a science fiction element uh, at work here. We've got robots, so we've got um, we've got technology uh, that's that's extremely advanced that doesn't appear to be technology any longer. But you've got a really fascinating setting with the name lands. Yeah, the name lands uh, is, is kind of the last pr kind of pristine location on the uh, on the on the planet. These are all, of course, folks that survived a, a great cataclysm. When, uh, when Pandro Wyme and his scientist scholars overthrew the Wizard Kings in one night of cleansing, uh, took out the seven sons of Jum Yazir, the survivors crawled out and, and eventually, over time, made their way into the, the land that's now called the Name Plants on the other side of the Keeper's Wall. My favorite character in, in Lamentation is uh, Winters, I think. Okay. Um, who do you love the most? I think I'm partial to Patronus because of his background. You know, I don't want to spoil too much for the readers, but he played a pretty important role in the order. Uh, but you know, I mean, who doesn't love the orphan boy Neb? I mean, it's it's. I, I think there's there's always uh, in our genre that the, the orphan boy seems to be a fairly uh, a fairly recurring character. Uh, Winters did become a, a, she she was such a nice surprise to me in Lamentation that. She then got her own point of view in, uh, in the, for the rest of the series. And so in the second book and the third book, I'm alternating, you know, I have three characters uh, per chapter and I'm bouncing back and forth. It makes for a fast read to, to be and have short scenes with, with lots of characters that people can like. And then you've got uh, Cannibal coming out next. And that picks up about six months after Lamentation. Uh, brings back uh, Winters as a POV character, brings back uh, Vladley Tam as a POV character. And we continue trying to solve the mystery of, of uh, who destroyed Windward and why. Lamentation. Lamentation. By Ken Scholes. By Ken Scholes. From Tor Books. From Tor Books. You should also buy Green. It's a fine book. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Jay.